Hello Monday. It is May 23rd. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. We just got done talking to Brandy Adams about the summer reading program. Several activities beginning, I believe she said June. Second. Second. Yeah. They continue through July. And other activities going on in July at the library. So just give them a call and see what's going on. Go to their Facebook page. Uh, we'll put out some more information. Of course, I have Terry Simpson here with me every Monday. And she uh, videos. But today, uh, we're going to talk to her a little bit about uh, things going on. And things she's doing. And things that's been done. So, another one of those past, present, and future things. <laughs> so, how are you today, Terry? I'm pretty good. Let's go back to the past. First off, what went on this weekend? The Field of Dreams fundraiser and the barbecue festival. And both were just wonderful. It was great to see everybody out in the community again, getting out, doing things, being with their family and people they love. And I got all kinds of pictures of people just hugging and smiling and laughing. And that's what I love. Yeah. <clears throat> I went down uh, Friday night to the barbecue festival, of course, so vendors wasn't there but they, you know they had a band uh cakewalk barbecue and food and all that and then, of course saturday was the big kickoff with the breakfast that morning they had a, a cruise in or a car show mm -hmm. parade, parade all the vendors they had a run for adults and then one for kids so you got all kinds of those action shots and got those on facebook yes i got some action shots kids coming right at me <laughs> they just run over her right let somebody out where I read the top. I said if she gets in the way, just run over her. Well, I I got the bright idea to walk around the parents and squat down in the front of all the racers and Richard Jackson said, Don't be afraid to run over the camera lady and the kids took him serious. And then I decided to stand up, which was probably not the best idea. So I think I kinda messed up one of the races, but <laughs> people just look over me. Not so uh Field of Dreams, what all went on there? They had vendors, they had bouncy houses, the music playing, they were selling barbecue, and it was just... I've been crazy the past couple of months with all the events, and it was so nice to just relax. And I was taking pictures, and I was running around everywhere, but I was so relaxed. It was just... I just love music, listening to music. And the people, such awesome people, and... It was just a really great night. Everybody has said that. And then, of course, <clears throat> the rain cut it a little short, but, but it was... Yeah, not too bad. They they got... I most think it, of it in. Yeah, most of it in. But it was, it was just a really nice event. So, what are we working on now? Well, I went down to Old Mulkey last week and interviewed Sheila Rush for a story about her. And in that story, I asked her about Doug and how she met Doug. And she lit up. She was laughing. She's telling me this story, which I'll have out there. And it was just so nice to see her so happy and in love after all these years, still in love. And I went home and I haven't started the story yet, but I was just thinking... I just, I just randomly get these ideas. I don't know where they come from, but I thought it would be really neat to interview some couples, some of the older couples in town about how they met for Valentine's Day <clears throat> and put those out there, the stories, in February. Well, I ran it by Monica <clears throat> at the library. I come up with these ideas. I shoot them to her, and she makes them reality and puts all the fine details in. And she pointed out that I should probably go ahead and start those now and do a couple a week. And then come February, we'll have them. We just put them out there, which makes sense. So I'm now looking for people to do that. I've got one lined up that will be Brendan and Richard Turner. And I'm looking for more people. So if you know somebody, I'm going to talk to your parents, probably talk to my parents. But if you know somebody you want me to interview, Message me, have them get in touch with me, and I'm going to start lining those up in the next couple of weeks. 
All right, so you're gonna <clears throat> do like a a couple interview. Is that gonna be uh, you gonna video it? Or are you gonna just write it down? I'm back and forth on that. I, I'm gonna do either both or either or, because some people don't like to be on video. Some do. Some don't mind. But the emotion and love in Sheila's face. I can do a lot of that in writing, but those videos would just be priceless to have for future generations. As an archive. Yes. And that's what we're doing with the library. We're archiving all these stories for the future. And we've been working, I've, I've put several out there the past few months. And most of my stories are long. Well, not my stories are long, but it, I mean, it's people's lives. But this would be just short little how you met your spouse. And then later we'll go back to some longer stories. But I just really want to get that out there. I think the kids will love it. I think everybody will love it. But I think the children of those couples will love hearing those stories. And them being carried down for generations. Something they never, maybe have never heard. Yeah. And um, things were so much different <clears throat> back then. Like my parents met at um, the City Cafe. I've never heard of that other than them. It is, it's not here anymore. It's just, it's going to be really neat to hear. Like, um, for instance, Sheila and Doug, they were from here, but they didn't live here. And they both eventually moved back here and then met. And I'm not going to spoil that one. I could, <laughs> I could go on all day about it, but I'm not going to spoil it. All so right. I'm really looking forward to hearing those stories and watching people talk. So if you're a couple out there, <coughs> excuse me, if you'd like to tell Terry your story, just look her up on Facebook, on my row page, or Terry Ferguson Simpson. Yes, or you can oh. call the library. Um, we can do it a couple different ways. I can come to their houses. I can meet them at like a park. They can come to the library, just wherever they're comfortable talking. It would actually be a pretty cool idea if, if if they met somewhere like the city cafe and they were able to get out and wanted to come talk there. Granted, it doesn't exist anymore, but right. where it was, I guess. So, where, what, do you, did they say what the city cafe was? Somewhere downtown. And it's funny because I was at the library the other day looking through the microfilm. And that is something really neat, y'all. If you can get to the library, come check it out. It's upstairs in the genealogy room. And what it is, it's slides of papers all the way back to the 1900s, the early 1900s. I think like 1913. But you, you put the slides in there as like negatives and you scroll through them and you can read papers. And I came across an ad for City Cafe. And I was like, well, that's interesting. I also came across the year I was doing some research for someone in the year I was in had a lot of stuff and um, I found my sister's little birth announcement from the early 70s and just different things so that's something the library has so much to offer like Brandy said the summer reading programs the genealogy room the book reading thing we're doing right now just check it out it's it's a really great place with a lot of resources I'm one of those resources <laughs> it sounds weird to say but I am. And now how do you find the stuff that you've done at the library? Any particular way? Right now it's on the My Row page. We're um, working toward a certain kind of storage and organization and getting everything together. It'll eventually be like, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I keep losing my voice this morning. You'll eventually be able to go in there and look it up just like you do the microfilm or the different, like the family history books are in there and different things like that. You'll be able to go in, search it up, say, I want to read the story, like the one I wrote about Anita. I want to read the story about Anita, and it'll be in there. And we're working on the website. Lori Beth just completed some classes on websites, so she's now moving into <clears throat> how to put everything together and make everything work and just a work in progress because it's new to all of us all but right. we're getting there and there'll be pictures all the pictures from everything that's went on in town all right let's take another quick break and we'll be right back with Mormon Row Monday <laughs> 